Hello everyone, this is Sadat. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the center of gravity or centroid of a C-section. Step by step, let's get started. Step 1. Understanding the shape. This C-section made of three rectangles. Top horizontal rectangle, 10 cm wide and 3 cm height. And also vertical rectangle, 10 cm wide and 14 cm wide. Bottom horizontal rectangle, 10 cm wide and also 3 cm height. Now we can catch it from step 2. Step 2. Specify the x and y axis. Now we can uh, draw the x and y axis for easy calculation so let me draw the x and y axis for this this six shape yeah you can draw like this this is x and also this is y axis uh, and also you can uh, now we can continue from uh, step three step Three. Divide the section. Now we can break the section into three rectangles. So I divide it into three parts as colorful as possible before to save time. So let me paste that here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a split shape. I have uh, divided before uh, shape one and uh, bottom horizontal rectangle. Uh, and also uh, shape 2, vertical uh, rectangle. And finally, shape 3 is top horizontal rectangle. Now we can continue from step 4. Step 4. Calculate the area of each part. Uh, in this step, I uh, will find the area of each shape. Let's uh, find that. Yeah, we can say the area of bottom horizontal uh, Rectangle A1 A1 equal 10 times 3 equal 30 centimeters 30 squares centimeters You know, so we can say the area of vertical uh, rectangle A2 A2 equal 3 times 14 equal 42 square centimeters and also we can say the area of top uh, top horizontal rectangle a3 so a3 a3 is equal so a3 a equal 10 times 3 equal 30 square centimeter now we can find the uh, total area of this section yeah, we can find the total area of this section uh, A1 plus A2 plus A3 equal 30 plus, <laughs> sorry, 42 plus 30 equal 102 square centimeters. Yeah, this is the general area of this C section. Now we can continue from step 5. Step 5. Determine the center of H shape. Now we can uh, find uh, for a center of H uh, divided shape. Now we can find the center of bottom horizontal rectangle. So we can write like here. Center of bottom horizontal rectangle. Yeah. Now we can write X1 equal. 10 divided by 2 equal 5 centimeters. This is x1. x1 from this is our origin, yes. 0 0.0. This this distance is x1. x1. Now uh, we can find y1. y1 
equal to 3 divided by 2 equal 1.5 centimeters. This is half of uh, the bottom horizontal rectangle height from the origin, yeah. Uh, X, Y1 here. P sorry. This is Y1. Y1. Y1, X1 is, this is, uh, this point, X1, Y1. This is the centroid of bottom horizontal rectangle. Now we can find the centroid of vertical uh, rectangle. Centroid of vertical rectangle. Now we can find X2 equal 3 divided by 2 equal 1.5 centimeters this distance half of the vertical rectangle wide from the origin yeah, to here this this point x2 and now we can find y2 y2 equal 3 plus 14 divided by 2 equal 10 centimeters this distance 3 centimeters bottom horizontal rectangle height and also Half of uh, half of vertical rectangle height, this point. Half of the vertical uh, rectangle. This is the y two, x two, x two, and y two. This is the centroid of the vertical rectangle. Now we can find the centroid of top horizontal rectangle. X three equal 10 divided by 2 equal 5 centimeters and, uh, and also this is uh, half of top horizontal rectangle wide from the origin yeah. so x1 equal to x3 y3 equal 3 plus 14 plus plus 3 divided by 2 equal 18.5 centimeters so this distance 3 centimeters bottom horizontal rectangle height and plus uh, height of vertical rectangle and also half of top horizontal rectangle height from the origin yeah so the y3 is this point y3 this point so this is x Three white. This is the centroid of top horizontal rectangle. Now we can continue from the five. Apply the center of gravity formula. Now we can calculate the x bar and y bar. Now we can find the x bar and y bar. Uh, so let me write the x bar formula. So x bar x bar equal a one times x one plus a2 times x2 plus a3 times x3 divided by total area of this section. So a1 plus a2 plus a, sorry, plus a3. Now we can uh, write x bar equal, yeah, a1 was uh, 30 centimeters times x1 was 5 centimeters plus a2 was 42 centimeters times x2 was 1.5 centimeters 1.5 centimeters plus a3 was 30 centimeters times x3 was in you know, also 5 centimeters uh, divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 was 100 2 centimeters. Now, if you uh, calculate here, we can find x bar, x bar equal 3.65 centimeters. Yeah, this is the x bar volume. And also now we can find the y bar. Let me write y bar formula. Y bar is a1 times y1 plus uh, a2 times y2 plus a3 times y3 divided by total area of the section 
a1 plus a2 plus a3. Now we can write y bar equal a1 was 30 centimeters times uh, y1 was 1.5 centimeters. 1.5 centimeters plus uh, a2 was 32 centimeters. Y, y2 was 10 centimeters plus uh, a3 was and also 30 centimeters times y2 was 18.5 centimeters. But divided by Total area of this section, the total area of this section was 102 centimeters. Yeah, if you uh, calculate here, we can find the y bar volume uh, 10 centimeters. Yeah, this is the y bar uh, volume. Uh, finally, we found the volume of the center of gravity or center of the section. Now we can write like here, center of gravity x bar y bar so x bar was 3.65 centimeters and also y was uh, y bar was 10 centimeters now we can determine the center of gravity or center of the this c section yeah let me do that yeah x bar was 3. Point. we can uh, we can assume here x bar equal 3.65 six five centimeters yeah y bar was 10 centimeters it's equal to uh, half of height of a vertical uh, rectangle here a y bar now we can determine like here this is x bar and y bar this point the center of gravity or center of this c section so thanks for watching this video uh, if you found this video useful Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel.